Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position's gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? No, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Money. Murder. Betrayal. And most importantly, underrated. These are the words that come to my mind when I think about 2K Checks cult classic, Mafia 2. Back in 2010, I was in the midst of my obsession with The Sopranos, though I had always been into mob-related storytelling thanks to stuff like The Godfather or Goodfellas, etc. This shouldn't really be a shock for most of my viewers because of my love for the Yakuza series, but I still felt context was important for this particular title. You could put just about any sort of mob-related media in front of me and I would be interested. But then came Mafia 2. I had played the demo when it dropped on the Xbox Live Marketplace and I found myself hooked. I played it way more than I'd really care to admit and I couldn't wait for the game to drop. Thanks to some dope-ass unlimited rental deal I had at Blockbuster, I picked the game up one day after school and could not pull myself away from it. I'm talking to the point where, like, I ended up ditching school at some point that week so just so I could finish the game in one sitting without worldly distractions. Very few games have ever done that to me. Mafia 2 drops us into the world of Italian immigrant Vito Scaletta. Returning home from World War II, he finds himself turning back to a life of crime to clear the debt his deceased father left for his family. Along with his best friend, Joe Barbaro, the duo endure the double-edged lifestyle of becoming made men in the city of Empire Bay. Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. The story packs just as much action, comedy, and heartbreak one might expect from a cinematic crime world drama. The gameplay consists of the usual wheeling and dealing you'd associate with the crime genre. Murder, theft, extortion, basically whatever it takes to put money in your pocket and power on your name. No! Most missions start out with you getting a call from Joe or whomever telling you to meet at various locations where you'll be greeted with cutscenes filling out the details. Even though the game is open world, it is extremely linear. There's no side missions unless you count collecting the in-game collectibles, and I'd always wondered what was up with that. But as I've learned, there was a bunch of content that 2K had scrapped that would have added more activities and missions to the world. It's super unfortunate, but honestly, the narrative and world building is so immersive that I can forgive the lack of optional gameplay. The game has three DLC packs that I have yet to play, but thanks to the definitive edition upgrade I received for owning the game on Steam, I can finally give them some attention. I've always felt that the game was a little misunderstood. Even though the game was met with mostly favorable reception, I think most people dismissed it as a sandbox GTA clone. Mafia 2 packs so much heart and soul that I'd place it in a league of its own. Incredible writing, voice acting, music, and cinematic moments come together to make the player feel like they're playing the mob movies that we all love. Mafia 2 was just as gripping and engaging on my recent revisit for the Definitive Edition as I remembered it from my initial playthrough 10 years ago. Without talking spoilers, my favorite chapter, Room Service, still had me on the edge of my seat and really solidified itself as the huge tonal shift in the story. If you were interested in actually playing Mafia 2, it's available on the PS3 and 360, while the Definitive Edition is out now on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. So whichever version you play, Mafia 2 is sure to be an unforgettable experience that'll leave you wanting more. Regardless of the recent Definitive Edition, Mafia 2 would have been a must for Jot Selects, but it kind of just pushed its way to the forefront because it gave me an excuse to replay the game again. That being said, this has been your boy Jot with Jot Selects. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Jot Tent. Comment down below if there's any other games you'd like to hear my opinion on, or even you just want to see me play it or stream it, whatever. But always remember, 
Braun Ranch Gang, no brain, just aim.